Right, we're going to determine the form of a particular solution through this differential equation. So this is how I like to do it, right? I will just look at this and then put down the basic form first, all right? So I will put down yp, and once again, I'm ignoring this for now. I'm just focused on this. First of all, I notice that I have e to the 3t, so I know I must have e to the 3t, and let me just put this down right here. And if I did not have 5t to the 6th power, I will just put down a constant multiple of uh, e to the 3t, like a or something like that. But I do have the 5t to the 6th power, and this is being multiplying with that, right? So I'm just going to multiply. This is 6 degrees, so I need to have a long enough space, right? I have to insert a general form for 6 degree polynomial. And they are multiplying, so these two are also multiplying. All right, so now, uh, let's see. I will just, you know, a t to the sixth power plus b t to the fifth power plus c t to the fourth power plus d t to the third power plus e t squared plus f t to the first power and then plus g, and this one here has no t, all right? A six degree polynomial in the general form. All right, so this is my um, setup for now. And you have to be sure that yp, okay, all this term right here have to be linearly independent than yh. So you have to find out what yh looks like. Well, I'm going to look at the homogeneous situation. So I'm talking about y double prime minus six y prime plus nine. No, we'll still have y actually. This is equal to zero. I'll change this to r squared minus 6r plus 9, no r, and then this is equal to 0. And I'll factor this. This is r minus 3 times r minus 3, so r minus 3 squared equal to 0. And you see this is r equals to plus this 3. So you know yh is going to be, first of all, let me just write this down better. yh is going to be, the first building block to this right here is going to be e to the 3t, right? This is the first building block to the solution to this. And we multiply by c1. And the second building block, well, the r has been repeated, right? You put down e to the 3t, and you multiply by t right here. And this is the second building block to this solution, so you multiply by c2, and then you add them all together. That's the yh. All right, now, here's the deal. You see, g is just a constant. And you know you have to distribute so g times e to the 3t. This right here match with that, right? So that's no good. And the way to fix that situation is not bad because we can just multiply by t right here. That's okay, okay? So t times g is gt times e to the 3t. That will fix that situation. But gt e to the 3t match with this. So that's no good. Well, to fix that, I just have to multiply by another t, okay? So you have to be sure you multiply t as many times as you need to. In this case, we are multiplying by t squared throughout this right here, all right? At the end, I will just write this down legitimately, t squared times all that. And here we go. We will have a t to the eighth power, and then plus b t to the seventh, plus c t to the five, no, to the 6, because I'm multiplying by two of them, right? And then plus dt to the 5 plus et to the 6 plus y, no, 4. This is 4. et to the 4, and then uh, ft to the third power, and then this is plus gt squared. And close that, and you have e to the 3t, like this, okay? So as long as you keep track uh, all this, that'll be great. And yeah, pretty fun, huh?